this is problem number 8 on uh, equilibrium of forces so we have to find uh, the tensions in the strings a b b c and c d okay due to the forces applied at uh, joints b and c okay there is 1000 newton force applied at joint b and 800 newton force applied at joint c due to these forces applied at the joints there will be forces induced in the members a b b c and c d the tension force Okay, we have to find magnitude of that tension force. Means we have to find TAB, then TBC, and TCD. Okay, so to find these uh, forces. Uh, first we will find the angles at the joints I will take joint C first at joint C draw one horizontal and one vertical ok so whatever the angle 60 degree we have at joint D same angle will be there at joint C here 60 ok then six, this 60 plus 90 will give 150 150 and here what will be the angle this side it will be 30 degree overall angle is this angle is 90 90 minus 60 30 okay and here we have the angle 30 degree at joint B we will have the same angle here 30 okay now 30 plus 90 will give 120 degree 120 degree so this angle will be 90 minus this 30 60 so the angle bcd will be how much 60 plus 30 90 degree 90 degree okay now at joint B, you draw one horizontal and one vertical, one vertical. So at joint A, we have the angle theta, okay. The same angle will be there here as theta, okay. Uh, and rest of the angles, uh, it is not possible to find here because the angle uh, theta is not given, okay. Leave as it is okay now the next step is to select the joint okay you have to select the joint in such a way that there should not be more than two unknowns okay there should not be more than two unknowns if you select joint b no force in member bc is unknown force in member ab is unknown and angle theta is unknown there are three unknowns at joint b so you cannot select joint b if you select joint C, force member CD is unknown, force member BC is unknown, only two unknowns are there, you can select joint C and you can get the values of TCD and TBC. Therefore, select joint C. Select joint C. Now, I will write the separate diagram of the joint C. So here force is 800 Newton, this angle is how much? 150 degree, this angle is 120 degree and angle here is 90 degree, force in this member is TBC, force in this member is TCD, applying Lamis theorem, applying Lamis theorem TBC divided by sin 150 is equal to 800 divided by sin 90 is equal to TCD divided by sin 120. Okay, for CD member 120 is the opposite angle, therefore it is sin 120. Now considering first and second equation, we can solve for TBC, therefore 
TBC is equal to 800 sin 150 divided by sin 90. By this we will get the answer for forcing member BC that is 400 Newton. 400 Newton. Now considering second and the third equation you can solve for TCD that is equal to 800 sin 120 divided by sin 90 by this you will get force in number CD that is 692.82 Newton ok now you got force in number BC and the CD force in number BC is how much it is 400 Newton 400 Newton force in member CD is equal to 692.82 Newton 692.82 Newton ok now you can select joint B ok TBC is now no correct only there are two unknowns TAB and theta now select joint B now select joint B joint B Now I'll write the diagram of the joint B separately. The angle is theta here. Theta and at this member force is TAB. TAB and TBC is equal to 400 Newton. Is equal to 400 Newton and its angle is 30 degree. Angle is 30 degree. Then force of 1000 Newton is there in vertical downward direction. 1000 Newton. Okay. Now what is the next step? Uh, here uh, you can apply the Lamy's theorem. Okay. But if you apply the Lamy's theorem, uh, the angle will be in terms of theta. Okay. This angle. This angle will be 90 plus theta. Okay, in terms of theta, you, you will have the angle. If you uh, apply the Lamy's theorem, uh, you will have some complex calculations. Okay, that is why my suggestion is to use equilibrium conditions instead. Okay, use equilibrium conditions, then easily you will get uh, the angle theta and uh, unknown force A in member AB. Okay, uh, you apply the Lamy's theorem whenever there are two unknown forces, unknown forces and all the angles are known if uh, angle one of the angle is unknown and one force is unknown then my suggestion is to use the equilibrium condition so that you will easily get the uh, unknown parameters okay values of unknown parameters therefore we will apply equilibrium conditions okay applying applying the first equilibrium condition Sigma fx is equal to 0. Write the components before applying the equilibrium conditions. Here 400 cos 30 vertical component is 400 sin 30 for member AB horizontal component is TAB cos theta vertical component is TAB sin theta. Okay. Therefore, if you apply sigma fx equal to 0, TAB cos theta acting in left direction minus TAB 
cos theta then 400 cos 34 supplying in right uh, acting in right direction plus 400 cos 30 is equal to 0 ok therefore TAB cos theta is equal to we will get the value as 346.41 Newton ok call it as equation number 1 call it as equation number 1 now go for the next condition next equilibrium, next equilibrium condition that is sigma fi is equal to 0 sigma fi equal to 0 sum of forces in y direction is equal to 0 we have tab sin theta acting in upward direction therefore plus tab sin theta we have 400 sin 30 force acting in downward direction minus 400 sin 30 and we have 1000 newton force acting in downward direction minus 1000 is equal to 0 so in this equation only uh, you will get uh, the answer for TAB sin theta ok TAB sin theta value that you get is uh, 1200 Newton call it as equation number 2 ok now squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 it will be TAB square sin square theta plus TAB square cos square theta is equal to 1200 square plus 346.41 square ok so if you take TAB square common common in the bracket we will get uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta the value of which is 1 is equal to is equal to you will have some value here 1200 square plus 346.41 square and taking square root on both sides you will get the answer for force in member AB that is uh, 1249 1240 9 Newton ok now we got uh, the force in member AB ok now we have to find the angle theta to find the angle theta you can divide equation 2 by equation 1 equation 2 divided by equation 1 gives equation 2 is TAB sin theta TAB sin theta divided by either or you can substitute the value of TAB either in equation 1 or equation 2 to solve for theta or equation 2 divided by if equation 1 if you do you will get the angle theta TAB sin theta divided by TAB cos theta TAB cos theta is equal to 1200 divided by 346.41 1200 divided by 346.41 TAB gets cancelled tan theta is equal to 1200 divided by 346.41 therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of 1200 divided by 346.41 okay by this we will get the angle theta as 73.9 degrees ok 73.9 degrees therefore TAB is equal to 1249 Newton and angle theta how much we got 73.9 degrees 70 3.9 degrees ok so to this we got the tensions in strings AB B 
PC and CD. Okay, so this completes the problem. Thank you.